After a record snowstorm, Ottawa was cleaning up today, and what a cleanup it has been. City road crews and residents have been plowing and pushing, shoveling and throwing throughout the day to get the capital back on its feet. It's been a massive task, and Judy Trin will have an update on how it's going. And yesterday's long, frustrating waits for OC Transpo buses may be gone, but not the anger. Transit riders want answers, and one of them may lie in the dismal record of articulated buses during heavy snowstorms. The other big reason? Steve Fisher will fill us in. After a record-setting snowfall, people in Ottawa have spent today digging out. It's been a huge effort after more than 50 centimeters of snow fell on the city. The RCMP is scrambling to contain the fallout of bungled internal investigations into allegations of unwanted sexual touching, aggressive bullying and rampant nudity in the workplace at the Explosives Training Unit of the Canadian Police College in Ottawa. And we'll get to the storm story in just a moment, but first we have breaking news for you tonight. Ottawa police are investigating a homicide after a man was shot and killed inside a home in the 80 block of Ritchie Street in the city's Britannia neighborhood at about 7.30 tonight. Police say there are no suspects in custody. Syrian refugees in Ottawa are being offered a new and free way to furnish their homes. The volunteer group helping with furniture, 613, will supply newly arrived families with donated beds, lamps, dishes and toys. An Ottawa high school teacher has been charged with sexual assault involving one of his teenage students. 57-year-old Naum Abi Samra teaches math at Pierre Savard High School in Barhaven. Ottawa police say it's possible there are more victims. The president of the Ottawa Hospital announced today that it's considering other locations for its new civic campus. Senator Mike Duffy has been cleared of all 31 fraud, breach of trust and bribery charges against him. And the judge had some harsh words for the office of former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Terry Malevsky has more from outside the courthouse in Ottawa. Ian Black joins us now with our first look at the weather. Ian, lots of sunshine today. Will it continue? The town of Almont paid its final respects today to one of its beloved residents. 66-year-old Bernard Cameron was shot to death in his own home last Thursday in an act of domestic violence. Coming up, it's all the buzz in Canada North and at City Hall. And that's our show for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, we're your source for local TV news weeknights at 6 and 11. I'm Robin Miller. Good night.